everyone. I'm Diana DeRosa and I am co-organizer of the Equus Film Festival. And we're doing some things differently this year. Virtual has become the new norm and you are going to be so thrilled to be able to see all of the films this way because of this new thing that we're dealing with. But it's really been a very positive thing. But before I say any more, what I really want to do is bring in the founder of the Equus Film and Arts Fest, Lisa Dearson. It was her idea from the very beginning, and she is the one that needs to talk about what this year is going to be like. Hi, Diana and Julianne and Bruce and everybody out there. Thank you so much for such a great introduction. Yeah, this is a whole new different reality that we've got, this COVID thing. It's, it's kind of teaching all of us some new tricks. To, and you can say you can teach some old dogs some new tricks because I've learned all kinds of new things this year on how to set up the event. So what's really fun about this year is that all of the filmmakers around the world, and we have quite a few different places in the world represented here this year, I, th I think 16 at the last count, so everyone out around the world and all their friends are going to be able to gather together to watch the Winnie Awards. So that's one of the best things to happen this year, as well as all their friends can watch the films now. Everyone around the world can tune in and watch the films in the Equus Film Festival. So that's super exciting. So, you know, it, and the, the virtual idea has just kind of forced everybody to think a little bit differently from filmmakers to authors, to the artist. Everyone's doing things just a little different. So it's been fun this year to see everything that's come in in the, in the new normal that we're dealing with. So I'm happy to have everybody here and back to you. Okay, so with the new norm, so are these awards going to be the new norm in that we are going to be sharing presenting these awards this year. Normally it's just Lisa and I on the stage but this year we're going to take turns. I'm going to be presenting the International Film Awards and Julianne and Bruce are going to be presenting the National Awards and Lisa and Julie are going to be presenting the podcasts and blogs and Carly Cade is going to present the Literary Awards. So before we sign off and kick off this whole night of tremendous awards, Let's see what everybody thinks about because we've got everyone here. Yay! Hi, so, Julian. Hi, Bruce. Yay! Hi, hi Diane. <laughs> We're so yeah. excited to be here tonight. I mean, is everybody um, ready for the Julie show, the Winnie Awards? Yay! <laughs> That's gonna be fun. And what's the best thing about this year's awards, Bruce? Your is your friend there. My friend is here with us. Oh. To do the awards. <laughs> your your um, friend's a little smaller. This Maddie's is the playing. first time we've ever been able to have our dogs at the Winnie Awards. So Amori, Amori says, hi, everybody. I'm happy to be here. She's ready to go. And I think we're ready to go into the 2020 Equus Film and Arts Fest Winnie Awards. What do you think, Diana? I think we should kick it off because everybody's waiting to find out if they have won one of our wonderful Winnie Awards. Yay! Yay! Okay, let's go! So Bruce and I are happy to be presenting the National Awards for Film. And we're going to start out with the first Winnie Award for Feature Trailer goes to Awesome Gal. And I'm really excited for Frank Kello with that. Um, it's a wonderful, wonderful trailer. The Equestrian Animation Award goes to Big Wishes for Little Feet, which was late into the festival, but such a wonderful film. The Winnie Award for Short Documentary goes to Every Ride is for You. And Bruce, would you like to present the next three? Okay, so the Winnie Award for Micro Doc goes to God Bless America. Woohoo! Yay! And then we move on to uh, the Winnie Award for, oh, uh, where are we? The Music Video Female Artist. Grow up and be cowboys. Grow up to be cowboys. Sorry, grow up to be cowboys. And so then we have the next Winnie Award. It's feature film, Hope's Legacy. 
And I have to say that is a special film to me because Brook USA had a special fundraising event and Hope's Legacy was the kickoff for that, for the power of one. So I had to put in my plug for Brook USA. <laughs> Sorry about that. All right, as we go on down a little bit more, we're going to talk about the Equine Public Service Announcement Award, and that goes to Managing Wild Horses to Extinction from filmmaker Nita Ryan. Congratulations, Nita. We also have the Winnie Award for Horses Helping Humans, the short film, which is Mustang Moments. Our next Winnie Award for Native American goes to Saddle of Hope, another winner with Nita Ryan. And finally, for children's education, the Winnie Award goes to Team Velvet, helping kids cope with COVID. Bruce, why don't you do the next two? And then mine is the Winnie Award for Educational, The Parasite Journey of the Horse. And then the next Winnie Award goes to International Doc Short. Nope, so <laughs> Horses Helping Humans Full Length. The Red Bond, A Legacy of Love. Excellent. The Winnie Award for International Documentary goes to Unrained. We also have a mini doc Winnie Award for Urban Cowgirls. The Wild Horse Winnie Award for Short Film goes to Vanishing Knowledge. And the Winnie Award for Music Video Short Film goes to Walk Side by Side. You want to take the next Winnie Award for so, Music Video Male Artist? As she said, the next Winnie Award goes to Music Video Male Artist, Wherever I Roam. I like to play on Rome. Mm -hmm. um, and then the next one was Horses Helping Humans Trailer. Where the horse heals the soul. I right, can go back to you unless you want me to go again. I'll do the next one. Wild Horse Documentary, the Winnie Award goes to Wildlands Wild Horses. And that is the last of our Winnie Awards no, wait, for. Is there no US one? Those are encore films. Oh, sorry. We're not doing this. Okay, then. But I do want to say, I would like to add, we'd like to do a special thank you to the Encore filmmakers because these films were chosen because of special environmental or cultural issues that were addressed. And Bruce and I would like to thank our own filmmaker, James O'Connor, for producing mm -hmm. and directing and editing The Edge, Bruce Anderson, Natural Humanship. So we have a special thank you for the Encore films as well. Say thank you all for letting me be part of this. This is like so different for me because I'm usually in a round pen with a horse. So to be here having to do this, it's kind of a little different. I feel kind of sorry for you people who have stuck in <laughs> your little closets and have to do what do you call it? Zooming? Is that what you call it? We're, uh, yes, zooming? we're on a Zoom call. Yeah. So yeah, this is so different. The digital um, world. Yeah, you all can keep it. No pun intended, but anyway. Hi, I'm Diana DeRosa, co-organizer of the Equus Film and Arts Fest with Lisa Dearson. And I have the honor of introducing and announcing the international film winners. I love international travel and have traveled to many of these countries. So this is a special honor for me. So without further ado, we start with the art film by Antonio, Antonio Ingre from Argentina. Educational short, Catching Nito, Paul Randall, Italy. Commercial, Equine Straw, Mike Consamant, Canada. International short doc, Firefalls, Ariel Neo, France. International art film mini, Galloping Sunset Shadows, Hans. Goudemont, Netherlands. International documentary, Native American, Hosho in Beauty We Walk, Nathalie Dubuc, France. International racing, Jean-Michel Vizier, Diana Romain and Nagorira Balieu, France. International short documentary, Mikhail Amberti, Annette Montrich, the Netherlands. 
international unions helping horses, Met Pension, Ralph van Boschnopen, Netherlands, international jumping documentary, Over the Barriers, Banu Ramazanova, Kazakhstan, international series, Riding Horses in Greenland, Kristal Kelly, Greenland, international trailer, Riding Liberty, Cassandra Thomas, the UK, international short, Bart, Riding Through Time, Gianmarco D'Agostino, Italy, international commercial, Stand and Deliver Santa, Emma Massenbaum, the, from England, international equestrian music video, The Heartless Equestrian, Zoe von Hunen, Den from Belgium, international equestrian documentary, Travel, the Highlands Wilderness Adventure on Broken Horses, Emma Massingo. England, International Doc Short, The Stallions of Palestine, Lise Coker, Palestine, International Horses Helping Humans, The Wild Ones, Lucy K, UK, International Mini, Totalist The Extras, Annette von Trick, The Netherlands, International Wild Horse Doc, Wild Hearts, Inder Nirborn, Canada, and International Short, Wings of Kyrgyzstan, Jana Hacker, Germany. What an honor. And I so love seeing so many different countries having submitted films to this year's Equus Film and Arts Fest. What a great honor for us. And congratulations for being a part of this annual event, our eighth annual event. Have a great rest of the ride. Wow, so many winners from all over the world and throughout the United States. Congratulations to all of you. What a fabulous Winnie Awards and what fabulous films this year. But wait, we have one more thing that we want to announce. Lisa, take it away. We're super excited to announce that we've extended the Equus Film and Arts Fest through Thanksgiving weekend. There'll be one more week of fun access to the films. So you'll be able to go in and, and watch the films from now through the end of November, through November 29th. We end on top of that, we're adding a Black Friday, Thanksgiving, COVID lockdown special of $39.99 for the remainder of the film festival. So tell your friends, Log on, watch another whole week full of wonderful Winnie Winner films that everyone who's won their awards, it's so exciting. So let's let's get the news out there. Tell your friends, share on social media. Let everybody know that they can now sign on and watch a whole nother week's worth of the Equus Film and Arts Fest. And make sure you tell your friends after they watch it, they can watch your interviews on YouTube, you can click through our links on our Equus Film Festival pop-up gallery page to watch your interviews with Diana and Julianne and um, Lisa DeMasi. So how exciting is that? Pretty exciting. You know, it depends <laughs> on all of you. Share, share, share. If you all get out there and you start sharing to the people that follow you, that's going to make more people come and watch this year's Equus Film and Arts Fest. And the fact that it's virtual is going to make that easier. So support us and support yourselves and spread the word that we have extended this year's virtual tour. With the Winnie winners, 